Really sad news now. A pupil has died after falling from the third floor at Ferndale High School here in Johannesburg. Apparently the boy suffered an epileptic seizure. For more on this then, I'm joined by the Gauteng MEC for Education, Banyaza Lesufi, who joins me now from Cape Town. So MEC, I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, you've been uh, sort of helping us keep track of the trends in the last few days, in the last few weeks since schools reopened, and we will talk about those in a moment, but let's start with today's incident. What happened? You know, two left, you are correct, you know. We are emotionally drained, emotionally devastated. It has been really difficult for us since the beginning of the academic year. And this morning we got an information that uh, one of our learners got uh, a seizure and unfortunately he fell on the th from the third floor. And the paramedics tried everything and they rushed him to the hospital, unfortunately passed on. And by that time he was with his family and we want to extend our sincere condolences to the family, to the school community, and to the friends. Uh, it's, a really, really, it's really difficult for all of us here. Uh, and, and, and we can't even explain why we're having this bad spell within the education sector. As you correctly alluded, his death brings the total tally to 11 deaths since the beginning of the school calendar. It's very difficult and it's very painful. Uh, to MC, I mean, I, I, and I, I can imagine how difficult it must be for you, and I've seen you in the last few weeks. But tell me about what you are observing, um, especially in the last few weeks. What are some of the big contributors to the fatalities in schools? I mean, children going to school should be able to come back home safely, unless, of course, there's a major uh, incident that happens that's outside of anyone's control. To be quite frank to us, it's quite clear. The lawlessness that was outside the school premises is now coming inside the school premises. Uh, we're having situations where we never thought that schools would go through those difficulties. And unless we request uh, uh, the divine intervention, we also request our traditional leaders and request parents and community leaders to come to our rescue. This trend is going to continue unabated and it's going to be a really difficult process for all of us. What are you starting to think about, MSC? And I'm sorry, uh, you know, to, we find you in the midst of the commemorations of the 30th anniversary and therefore there's the national anthem playing in the background. So do forgive us for that. But I do need to ask you about um, what's, what's, what's your thinking around uh, possible interventions, MEC. I mean, in my mind, I've been thinking about whether or not we're at a point where we need a comprehensive school, even policing strategy, um, law enforcement in schools, perhaps that becoming a feature that says we should focus on this because some of the violence is pupil upon pupil, some of the violence is from outside the school premises, but the effect is the same. Children are dying in schools. Are we at a point where we should be thinking about a law enforcement strategy within schools? I fully agree with you. I think our safety plan is outdated. Um, we, we can't have a safety plan if so many learners dying and also to have our schools being literally uh, 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 centers where we have to retrieve bodies and hand them over to their parents rather than handing over uh, either matrix certificate or, or performance records. So we need to accept that uh, our current safety plan needs a complete overhaul and we also need to ensure that all stakeholders, in particular parents and learners, assist us to formulate a new plan. And you can't uh, rule out uh, the need for law enforcement agencies to come. And that is why some of us have said you can't have four schools, for example, bent down and you feel that you don't need the intelligence community to come here. We need the intelligence community also to identify schools as areas that they need to work from. We also need to bring our social workers. We also need to bring all institutions that can provide the relevant support to also be within our school premises. And this means that the NGO that are doing either 
uh, 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 cancelling, they need to ensure that they are also with us. But for the very first time, we really believe that even the intelligence community must be asked to check whether they can't identify schools as areas that they can assist us in the interim, sure. uh, 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 for example. Lastly then, MEC, let me ask you, you're talking there about the physical safety aspects and law enforcement aspects, but, oh, but what about the duty of care aspect of things, right? Because some of the incidents uh, certainly in the last week have seemingly suggested that there could be something there that we need to look at by way of, you know, when a child leaves home uh, from their parents uh, or their guardians, they go to other people that are their guardians at least uh, for the number of hours that they are in school, equipping teachers with that ability and perhaps holding them to account for how they um, carry out that duty of care. What do we do in that respect? Indeed, we need to give teachers basic support. And remember, they are trained to teach. They are not trained to remove a gun or to remove a knife from a learner. And those kind of things are happening. So we need to review how we also train our educators. But parental guidance becomes a crucial element that we need to really invest our energy and our resources to it. Because if every learner comes from a family, so if families are not strong, these kind of things will happen. But we also, we need to bring the religious component. The support of religious leaders is very crucial as well. But the way we are now in Gauteng, we are emotionally devastated, emotionally drained. We really believe any form of help from any quarter will be truly appreciated because we are indeed under siege. All right. MSC Panyazali Sufi, thank you for joining me. Uh, a really difficult conversation to have. And I've seen you in the last few weeks, how you've taken uh, the toll, uh, a toll from that uh, delivering news of yet another learner uh, pupil who has died this time at Ferndale, uh, at a school in Ferndale here in Johannesburg.